Yet another gang rape in South Africa, this time in fields close to a Pretoria university, where a 21-year-old woman was going to enroll. She was attacked by four men at night and survived. For other students here, the incident has come as no surprise. We're not protected, we don't feel safe. We're being raped each and every day and people, they just get away with it. It's not fair, it's not okay. Even in babies, they get raped. So I, sh I don't know what's, what's wrong about men. I don't know, there must be something done about them. There's plenty of rapists here. The gang rape here has provoked little more than a collective shrug across South Africa, a country that seems almost numbed by the scale of the problem. According to some estimates, at least 600,000 people are sexually assaulted here every year. Businesswoman Andy Cower was gang raped in 2010. Now she's become a vocal campaigner for women's rights in what she believes is a damaged society. Well, rape has been normalized. Rape is in our culture gender-based violence and it's part of the whole patriarchal culture. And do you think it's endemic in South Africa? It is an everyday thing. It happens every day. It happens in homes on a daily basis. And people too afraid to talk about it? Fear. I think that there is, um, there is silence because of fear. There is apathy because of fear. Because the perpetrator, most of the time, has the power in one way or the other. In South Africa, there's been some soul searching in recent days, as people here have noticed the huge public outcry in India over the gang rape there. We should always be concerned uh, about rape. We should not um, lead campaigns on the basis of uh, an incident that happened today and then we stop it. We should, we should, uh, the campaign should be ongoing. But for now, South Africa is still struggling to change in the face of what many here are calling a rape epidemic. Andrew Harding, BBC News, Pretoria.